Hello, good day everyone. My name is Anandilus Reyes and our lesson for today is all about azimuth and bearing and how to convert azimuths to bearings. Let's define first what is azimuth and bearing and their comparison. So what is azimuth? Azimuth is the angle formed between a reference direction or north and a line from the observer to a point of interest. Azimuth is an angle between 0 degrees and 360 degrees, measured clockwise from north. So what is bearing? Bearing is an angle measured from the vertical line north-south to horizontal line west-est. Is an acute angle that measures less than 90 degrees within a quadrant defined by the cardinal directions. Bearing is never greater than 90 degrees, that its reference are from north or south and the angle to the east and west. The bearing of a line is the acute angle in degrees measured clockwise from north to south line. So, what are the comparison of azimuths and bearings? The comparison of azimuths and bearings, azimuths vary from 0 to 360 degrees. Bearings vary from 0 to 90 degrees. Azimuths require only a numerical value. Bearings require two letters and a numerical value. Azimuths are measured clockwise only. Bearings are measured clockwise and counterclockwise. Azimuths are measured either from north only or from south only. Bearings are measured from north and south. Formulas for computing bearing angles from azimuths. So the formula we use to convert a from azimuth to bearing in quadrant 1, north, east, or in A, which is 0 to 90 degrees, the formula we use is bearing is equal to azimuth. Then in quadrant 2, south east or is A, which is 90 degrees to 180 degrees, the formula we use is bearing is equal to 180 minus azimuth. Then in quadrant 3, southwest or is W, which is 180 degrees to 270 degrees, the formula we use is bearing is equal to azimuth minus 180. Then in 4 quadrant, northwest or NW which is 270 degrees to 360 degrees, the formula we use is bearing is equal to 360 minus azimuth. So let's try an example in converting from azimuth to bearing. So we have a given here in azimuth, 60 degrees, 140 degrees, 235 degrees, 350 degrees. So to convert this given, we use this formula. So since 60 degrees is in quadrant 1, copy the azimuth value. Then 140 degrees is in quadrant 2, so we use this formula. 180 degrees minus azimuth then 235 degrees is in quadrant 3 so we use this formula azimuth minus 180 degrees then 350 degrees is in quadrant 4 so we use this formula 360 degrees minus azimuth so to get the bearing since 60 degrees is in quadrant 1 so n 60 degrees e 180 degrees minus 140 degrees is equal to 40 degrees. So since 140 degrees is in quadrant 2, so as 40 degrees A. Then 235 degrees minus 180 degrees is equal to 55 degrees. So since 235 degrees is in quadrant 3, so as 55 degrees W. Then, 350 degrees is in quadrant 4. So, 360 degrees minus 350 degrees. Since 350 degrees is in quadrant 4, so, and 10 degrees W.